get caught in a net with a net. For your mind, body, and soul gets caught in a net with a net. It's your intellectual radio show here to are now tuned in to Mind, Body, and Soul with Annette, where your hosts, Annette Harris, analyze intriguing life questions and concerns, such as, do Christians suffer from mental illness? Have you wondered why they act abnormal? Or you may ask, what is really going on in their minds? Do you need Annette? Well, keep listening for a biblical understanding of the psychology of the mind. Hey guys, welcome, welcome, welcome to another wonderful segment of Mind, Body, and Soul with Annette, brought to you by Get Caught in the Net Incorporated. Hey, I am so excited to be here on this afternoon. I started a couple of minutes before noon, but that's just because I'm excited. And uh, we are here, so I want you guys to come on in, come on in, join us. Uh, I'm going to ask you to click uh, the share button. I see some of you come in already and are clicking the share button for us. And I appreciate that. Listen, let me, before I go further, Lord, we thank you for all things. We thank you for this wonderful day that you have blessed us to see. And we thank you for the bright sunshine here, but we also thank you for the cold. It is freezing, but we're grateful. We're grateful that we're here to, to feel it, to experience it, oh God. And that, that tells me that you want to continue to work through us. So get the glory out of this session and everything we go to say and do in Jesus' name, we pray. And the opening scripture that I always like to quote is the first part of Hosea 4 and 6, and it states, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge because thou hast rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee. And I, again, am excited to be here on this afternoon. I always say, if you see my face on a Wednesday afternoon around 12 noon Central Standard Time, that means it's time for you to come on and get caught in a net. 
Uh, we have a great, great, uh, beautiful uh, woman of God that we are going to present to you on today. Many of you may uh, remember uh, last year, last year, I think it was, uh, the Lord had given me the Psychology of Poverty series. My goodness, yeah, it is last year. We're in 2022 now. Um, and we started off, actually, we started off with uh, Marcus Hill, and he came in. He's a financial uh, advisor and um, I may have just given you a totally different uh, position, Marcus, forgive me if I did, but he came in and we, we wanted to talk about how, you know, a lot of times, unfortunately, we may be in um, poverty situations, uh, whatever that looks like for certain individuals, uh, but there, there's something, um, and I, you know, my, my quote, my mantra is everything starts in the mind. So even though we may be facing or some, indiv some individual may be facing some kind of poverty, um, there's a psychology behind it. And then there's there's also a way for us to come through it, to get to come out of it uh, as well, because God wants us to prosper and be in health, uh, even as our soul prosper. So um, I am presenting to you a beautiful young lady. I've known her probably a good majority of her life. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> and, you know, I, I have been so impressed with what I have seen um, with her social media posts and, and, and um, everything that she has been doing lately. I always knew she was very intelligent. I always knew that. Um, but seeing her in, in the, in the uh, position that she's in now, uh, not only personally, but professionally, um, it's a blessing. And I am, uh, I reached out to her and said, Hey, I need you to come on because, uh, what you doing here, I want to push and promote you. She started her own business, um, own company. She's a CEO. Uh, and, uh, Denise Ochebo is here on this afternoon. Did I do it right? Yes. <laughs> you pronounced it right. <laughs> <laughs> you all know me. I don't like to mispronounce anyone's name because I always feel your name is you. And so I don't want to dismantle it in any kind of way. So if I have to ask you how to pronounce it, I'm going to do that because I don't want to mess with anything. So how are you feeling on this afternoon? I'm well. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. It's, it's good to see you. You look wonderful as usual. And uh, I'm, I'm so excited about what we're going to get into on today. Um, let me let me do this. Let me do this. I have I have a I have a bio somewhere. Let me let me let me grab it. You all know how it is since uh, um We've been in this situation, had to go virtual. I've had to basically produce <laughs> on my end, uh, my shows. Uh, and so it, it, it's interesting. It gets interesting. It, there's a lot I have going on. And I my head is off to the real producers, <laughs> if you will. So I have my bio. But before I read that, let me just encourage you again. We're on my Facebook page, Annette, Get Caught in Annette. And then we're on Instagram get caught in a net. And my producer at Intellectual Radio, Earl Winfrey, has us up live on my YouTube channel, Get Caught in a Net Incorporated. So there are three different ways you can listen and or watch us. Now the audio is on the uh, YouTube channel. And then what we'll do is at the end of the segment, we will upload the video portion to our YouTube channel. Um, do I see Jacqueline coming in? Oh my goodness. You guys, when you come in, click the share button, click the care button, click the love button, the thumbs up. We want we want to see that you're there uh, and we do want to recognize you. I see you, my good friend, Karen. Now, a lot of you are out today. I know I'm going to get to this bio. A lot of you are out today here in the Chicagoland area because it is freezing here, um, you know, so... And I told you, go ahead and grab you a cup of coffee, cup of tea, hot cocoa, get your notes, your, your, your pad and your, and your pen, because we're going we gonna to learn you something today. <laughs> <laughs> I like to have a little fun sometimes. Uh, all right. So this, this is going to be interesting. Um, she said, yes, that's her. So Karen, I, 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 I don't know if you're out today or not. I know she's an educator, but uh, thank you for coming in as well. Uh, so you guys make sure you can also tag individuals too. Um, I would appreciate it if you would do so uh, for us on today. So let's see here. Um, 
I have this wonderful bio. Let me read a little bit here. Um, her business name is the Career Mompreneur. She is the CEO and owner. Uh, she's an experienced financial planner, accountant, tax advisor, and marketing brand director. Who? that's a lot. She completed her Master of Business Administration in Finance and Marketing at Arizona State University. In addition, she holds her Master of Science in Finance from Arizona State University. She received her Bachelor of Science in Finance and Accounting from DePaul, Gold DePaul, Blue Demons. <laughs> she is a certified tax preparer and IRS e-file provider. Denise began her career in Finance and Accounting at Abbott Laboratories. She grew her diverse career into senior management in marketing, strategy, and finance. In addition, she works as a financial coach and planner for individuals and small businesses. Uh, Denise enjoys a long, uh, excuse me, enjoys building a long-lasting relationship with clients and helping them achieve their financial goals. Educating clients to understand the importance of making smart financial decisions for both individuals and small businesses is her priority. Uh, she successfully navigated her, her corporate career to senior management at the same time of providing financial coaching to women, moms, and men, which prompted her to recently launch the Career Mompreneur. I, this, is, this is a lot. She has accomplished a lot. She's not that old. Uh, she's accomplished a lot in her in her young years, and I, I you can understand why I say I'm so proud of her and in, in what she's doing because she she she's out here doing the thing. That it that's not the end of her bio. Let me read a little bit more here. Her business is filled with culture, travel, fashion, mom life, career, entrepreneurship, unique and engaging content. Explore her financial coaching business and all it offers to teach you how to balance it all while living all over the world and achieving financial freedom. Freedom. Perhaps her business will provide new tips on personal financial planning for yourself and business needs. Uh, she, Denise, financial coaching business will help you identify your career, transition careers, identify purpose, and understand the ins and outs of personal financial planning. Again, welcome to Get Caught in the Net, Denise Ochebo. I did it again. So um, <laughs> you have a lot here. And I know that um, it, it, it's wonderful to have all those accomplishments. It really is. Now, I want to ask you a couple of things. Okay. Uh I, I, we just read the wonderful bio that you have, but can you do me a favor and just kind of tell my listeners who Denise is personally, um, in your own words, if you will, who is Denise? <laughs> sure. Hello, everyone. Denise Ochable, as she mentioned, um, who Denise is personally. So first, I'm a wife. <laughs> I'm a mom. I'm also a sister. I'm a daughter. I'm a niece. I'm a cousin and plenty more. I have friends. <laughs> um, but one thing I will say about me is that I'm passionate no matter what I put my mind to, whether it's in home life, in my career life, in my financial planning, business life. Um, I'm, I'm a God fearing woman. Number one, um, I honor and serve the Lord in each and everything that I do and always give um, honor and respect to God. Um, also, thank Annette for allowing me to be on this show. Um, one of the things that I would say that will sum me up in, in, in a short sentence is I'm a woman looking to empower other women financially. And that's near and dear to my heart because as she went over my long extensive bio, at the end of the day, I'm here to teach others how to successfully financially plan and set themselves and set themselves up for financial success. I believe each and every person in the world, regardless of your income status, your portfolio, your investment portfolio deserves a chance at financial success. So that's who I am. In short, I know we'll go more into the show and I'll be providing more details. But if you don't remember anything else about me, I'm here to empower others um, in, in, in achieving financial success in their personal journey, but also in their business. Love it. I absolutely love it. I, you know, I'm telling you, 
uh, y'all need to let somebody know that she's on today. Okay. Tag somebody, tag someone. Cause we're going, we're going to learn some things and, um, I think it'll be for our benefit. Um, uh, remember the theme, uh, for this year, 2022 is the year of healing. And today we're talking about financial healing and, I think we could all use that. What you think? What you think? All right. Um, if you don't think that you need financial healing, um, okay, we'll talk later. Okay. <laughs> all right. Let's see here. So I have, I have a number of questions now I've heard, let me tell you this. I've heard of a, a momager mom. Did they say mom, like a mom manager? Mm-hmm. They call themselves momagers. Mom- you know, yes. I, I, I had one on my show before. Um, and yeah, that, I thought that was quite interesting because, you know, they, she was, uh, managing her, her, her daughters, um, in the different areas that they were developing in. And, um, I think they're writers and, and different things like that. So I thought that was kind of very interesting. How do we come up with mom, uh, uh, your, your title here, the mompreneur, the career mompreneur, how did you come up with that? Yes. So when I think about my background, um, obviously I'm a career woman, been in corporate America for over 13 years, started off in finance and accounting, and right now um, sit in senior leadership um, as a director of marketing um, in corporate. One, One of the things when I prayed about a name for my business was that I wanted it to be encompassing of who I am, but also who I am trying to reach. And so when I think of me being successful in my career and also now being a mom and exploring and in entrepreneurship, um, I combined all of it because it encompasses who I am, but it also encompasses who my target audience is. So for example, the career mompreneur is for women who are either in their careers, um, they may be looking to transition into a higher level or navigate their current level in their career. But then it's also for women who may be stay at home moms who are navigating the day to day life of raising children. And then also for women who are either in their career, stay at home mom, or who's a woman that's an entrepreneur who's running her own business. So it's not leaving out anyone um in the the career mompreneur is for everyone it's for a woman that's looking for how to really build financial success whether at any stage in your life no matter your income level or your business status or your investment portfolio the career mompreneur has something to offer for you and i believe that with the name it helps attract Um, Because, of course, mompreneur is a word that's already been out on the market. But when you think about what's not there, you sometimes you always hear, oh, the woman is just a mom or she's just an entrepreneur or she's just a career woman. But there are women out there that are juggling it all. They're balancing it all. And that's me. Um, And I'm looking to target those women to let them know that, hey, if I can do it, you can do it, too. Okay. All right. Well, good. Now you guys have the background behind the the career mompreneur uh, title there, uh, the name of her her organization. Um, that that's wonderful. You know, I always kind of you know think beyond. You know, a lot of times what I you know mompreneur has been out there, but like you say, you 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 look beyond that and see what's what's not there. What can you help with? What can you address? And um, so this is a wonderful area that you have um, gone into. It's it's almost like um, you know. I know you know it like a, like the back of your hand. Financing, I know you do. <laughs> uh, let's see here. So now, let me before I could get into our the major the meat of our questions. I wanted to ask you. You know, people uh, typically are very private about their finances, the financial situation. Um, what challenges do you face? Um, as you are desiring to help people with their finances, what, is that a challenge for you when people are real private and they don't really want to share what, what they're dealing with, what they do or don't have financially? How do you, is that a challenge you face and how do you deal with it? 
Yes. So with the career mompreneur and just any role within finance or accounting, people are very private, as you stated. And it's definitely a challenge, um, even being in the space of entrepreneurship. Um, people don't want to share. But I take a step back and I think about the relationship people have with money. So understanding, one, your money mindset, but then also the relationship you have with money. And it stems and there's evidence and studies out there that show that the way you think about money and the relationship you have with money stems from your childhood. So I'll take myself, for example, um, I remember growing up in a middle class family and some of the lessons that I learned about money came at home from my, from my parents. I remember uh, when I was in high school um, at that time, cell phones became popular and everyone had a cell phone. So one day I went home and I told my mom like, hey, I want to get a cell phone. She said, OK, that's great. Um, if you wanted to get a cell phone, you need to save up money that you're earning from braiding hair. Um, and, and go out and buy the phone, but also save en enough money to get minutes for your phone. Of course, you're thinking like, what? Like, <laughs> that's not the answer you were expecting to hear, especially as, as an adolescent. You're thinking your parents say, OK, you're doing well in school. Here you go. Here's the money. Let's go buy it. No. But at that moment, that was a childhood lesson I learned about being responsible, being accountable and also working hard and saving for what I want. And that lesson I took throughout my entire life. Um, and, and that was my first exposure of my money mindset. So another example may be if you grew up in a home, your parents may say, oh, say, don't spend all your money. Save money for a rainy day or money don't grow on trees. You don't realize that those small concepts shapes a child, an adolescent, a teenager's mindset to believe a certain thing about money, whether good or bad. And as you go, go into your adulthood, those seeds that have been deposited in you from your parents, from your grandparents, whoever raised you, affect the way you think about money. And so that's why people tend to be more private. If they had a bad relationship with money or it was introduced in a negative way from their guardian or parent, whoever raised them, most times they become private because it's an area of hurt. And until you peel back the layers and change that money mindset, most times individuals fall into a, a a spiral of poverty because the mindset has been corrupt at a young age to think a certain way, to believe a certain way about money. So you grow into adulthood being a private person and not really addressing the root cause of things. So one of the ways I've tried to help clients, whether it was in my prior life or being a tax advisor or just working in financial planning, I tried to peel back the onion and figure out what is the money mindset or childhood memory that individual client has experienced with money. And we go through modules to help them change the way they see money. So we go through the money mindset. And then also, once they change their mindset and overcome the fears, the anxiety, they're able to open up a little bit more. And that's when their financial journey that new financial journey and the new beliefs about money changes and they see results. So I think it's really important for clients um, to understand what are those beliefs that you have about money. And there's um, a statement out there that right now the psych it's called the psychology. When you think of the psychology of money, it says that evidence indicates that poverty causes stress and negatively affects you as an individual, which in turn may lead to short-sighted and risk-averse decision-making and possibly limit the attention and favor of habitual behaviors at the expense of goal-oriented ones to achieve financial success. This is studied. <laughs> this is fact. And one of the things to overcome that is addressing the money mindset. And it starts in childhood. It starts in peeling back the layers, the things you've been taught, the things you've been told about money and start to understand how your mindset is habitually shaping the behaviors of how you think and what you do with your money. So money management. Um, so I hope that answers your question. And 
gives more context around why it's a challenge, why people are private and may not necessarily want to open up and fix the problem because most times it's better to hide behind the rock and hope it fix itself. But one thing about poverty is that you it won't fix itself until you address the root cause of it. And the psychology of money and that money mindset, if it's not fixed, it leads to a spiral, a generation of the cycle not being broken that most people fail to address, to learn, and to change. That was perfect. Yes, you answered my question correctly and you hit it on the head. I have the right person on here today. I, I, I That was a, a wonderful response because you, you have to understand uh, the psychology of it. You have to get into the mindset. And when you mention about, you know, uh, individuals backgrounds and, 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 and what they, what they came out of, what they dealt with, you know, a lot of times that will bring on shame. Um, but, you know, we're, we're glad that we have individuals like you, you know, to, to understand that first and foremost, and then know how, how to deal with it, to bring them out of that. So that, Again, what you said at the beginning, your desire is to help. So, you know, I paraphrase what you said, but your desire is to help. And so knowing how to help individuals is going to be def, uh, going to be key. Um, let, let me do this. I'm going to recognize some individuals because some of you have come in and I do appreciate you uh, for coming in and joining us on this afternoon uh, for this series that we're continuing on, The Psychology of Poverty, uh, dealing with financial healing uh, with my wonderful guest, uh, uh, Denise Ochebo. And I see uh, Dr. Shirley Hill on here. She said that was a great analogy that you did. I, I totally agree. Uh, Sandra Richardson. Hi, Auntie San. Thanks for coming in. Uh, Angelia Denise, thank you for joining. I see um, Bernard Marsall. He says, what a, what a beautiful, smart, and intelligent young lady. <laughs> Pastor Marsall, thank you for joining us on today. We appreciate you. Um, oh, I see uh, First Lady Margaret Marceau. Thank you. We appreciate you for joining. These are her parents. Um, and she, she, she talked about them in the beginning. We'll talk probably a little bit more about them. Wonderful parents. They, they raised their children uh, well. And um, I, I appreciate uh, how they raised them. And, and this is, uh, she is uh, the one. Of, are you the oldest? Yes. I'm the That's older. what I thought. Okay. <laughs> it's, it, it's definitely, it, it shows how they taught you. Uh, let's see here. Oh, goodness. Uh, and there are others on here. I, Malcolm Hughes, Elise Crawford. Thank you for joining us on today. Deatrice, I don't think I mentioned you. Thank you for coming in. I appreciate you as well. You guys, again, click that share button. When you come into this live feed on my Facebook page, I need you to click that share button. It's not going to cost you anything. We're talking about money today. It's not going to cost you anything to click that share button. What, what you are doing when you do that, you will push this out and others will be able to see um, when it's on your page and, and down your time timeline, they'll be able to see. Uh, hopefully they can watch us live while we're here or they can go back and look at the replay. Um, and we, we definitely want you guys to do that. Your mom is sending her love. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, so this is, this is beautiful. So thanks again, guys, for watching. We will, um, you know, interchange. And if you have any questions or comments for my guest on today, or the, the questions that we're going to discuss with her, uh, you, you want maybe more clarity on it. Um, or there's something that kind of sparks another question for you, go ahead and throw it into the comment section, whether you're here on Facebook Live, on Instagram, or on YouTube, we will uh, go back and forth, kind of toggle back and forth so that we can um, see what you have to say, because we do want you to join in on this conversation. And we're definitely going to um, allow you uh, to be able to know where to contact uh, uh, Ms. O Mrs. Ochebo uh, before the uh, a segment ends on today. So um, again, thank you for answering that question. What is your, the individuals that you normally deal with in, in terms of the age range? Is there a certain age range or e and even gender wise? Or, or do you go more towards male, female? And what's the age range? 
Yes, sure. So the age is open from 18 all the way up to 65. Um, the great thing about financial planning is that it, it spans across the spectrum. I even have services, and I know later we'll get on the website, that's for parents that have college students. Um, and even prior to that, I'll be having some segments and courses um, that'll be loaded with me teaching my daughter about accounting and investing. It can start at a very young age. Um, it's not in adulthood you learn about money, as I mentioned in my previous example, it, it starts in the home. But my target audience, I lean more towards women. And the reason why is because women are the number one consumer uh, when it comes to financial decisions in the home. And in today's, um, so in, in this society today, right now, women are, they, there's evidence out there that shows that 80% of women, even though they make most of the financial decisions, they lack the most financial literacy education. So I am trying to tap into that market and change the narrative for women. Uh, right now, there are stats out there that say parents pay boys twice as much allowance as girls in the U.S. today. Um, also, women earn 82 cents for every one dollar that male earn that men earn today. Also, one um, stat that's out there, it shows that mothers earn 70 cents for every dollar earned by fathers. And this one may seem surprising, but 30 percent of single mothers live below the poverty line compared to 17 percent of single fathers. So there's trends out in the market that leans more towards the lack of literacy and financial education that are that are provided to women that I want to reach because as the 80% of the financial decision maker in the home, whether single, married, adolescent, um, close to retirement, no matter what your age is, this is the trend amongst all women. And if they're if 80% of women are making the financial decisions in the home, but they don't have the education or the literacy to understand how to money manage, uh, manage money, can you imagine the type of decisions they're making for their home? Wow. And there's studies out there that prove that women are even better investors than men, but they lack financial education to know how to invest to know how to plan for retirement, to know how to pay for a house or pay for college or to have emergency savings like in a time like COVID when most women had to step away from the workplace and they had no financial plan on how to survive. So this is the market I am reaching to because I've gained the knowledge, I've gained the education and the experience to back it up. Now I want to go and teach others that may not have the opportunity to learn finance, to learn accounting in a way where they can learn it, but they can change the generational trajectory for their family and for themselves. And as a whole, as the, the career mompreneur tribe, as a community, we can change the entire narrative. That's my goal. And that's why that group is my specific target. Wonderful explanation. That's interesting. All those stats. Hmm. We, we know how to spend money. <laughs> we women know how to, that's what I got out of that. We women know how to spend money, but the education behind it, a mm, little lacking there. All right. So she's here to teach us on today, guys. All right. Uh, let's see. Hey, Robbie, thanks for coming in, my friend, my old high school friend. I appreciate you. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, thank you for sharing, Beatrice. I appreciate you. I know a lot of people are working. Um, all right. So this is this is great stuff. I, I, I am, you know, if you all know of any um, uh, young moms, um, single moms, married moms, anyone that can benefit from this, whether it's your daughter, your granddaughter, um, niece, <laughs> uh, uh, whoever, uh, friend, um, please tag them in, in this. And then of course, we're not leaving out the males, but mm -hmm. we, we know what her target is. And, you know, a lot of times, uh, what they say about, about the woman, she can, uh, she can turn that man's head. <laughs> <laughs> the woman has power of influence. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. So um, everyone can benefit on today. Um, so let's see here. I am going, uh, let's talk about the career mompreneur a little bit more. I know we've talked, you know, a little bit uh, on it. Um, who is the career mompreneur? Yes. 
So the career mompreneur believes that everyone deserves a chance at financial success, regardless of their income level, investment portfolio, or even stock portfolio success. Understanding finances and the relationship you have with finances is a life critical skill that most women and men are not privileged to know or have throughout the course of their life. The so some are taught, taught financial planning or finances, taught about finances, money management at home, and some are not. And this is where the career mompreneur steps in. The career mompreneur is here to help teach you how to one develop a healthy relationship change your money mindset, but also if you're living anywhere in the world at any life stage, single, career woman, married woman, um, single mom, married mom, whatever your life status is, is to teach you how to balance it all, but also achieve financial freedom at the same time and learn the critical skill sets that you need for financial planning. That's who the career mompreneur is. Okay. All right. Uh, we need to learn balance. Uh, I, I heard that. And I, I think that's so key. Uh, we need to learn balance in, in everything. Um, you know, sometimes we can, you know, think we got this, you know, and then we're hopping over to this or whatever. And then it's it's not balancing and it can, it, it'll throw you off uh, if you don't have balance. So thank you for saying that. Um, let's see here. I have Cameron. Hey, Cameron, thanks for coming in. We appreciate you. Maisola Simpson. Thanks for coming in. Thank you for watching and listening. And again, if you haven't clicked that share button uh, as you have come in, I do encourage you to do so. Please, please make sure you click the share button uh, or tag individuals in as, um, as you see fit. So we see who the career uh, mompreneur is, but is the career mompreneur really looking out for the average Joe or Jane? <laughs> Yes. So we provide the best advice to individuals at all income levels, but our main focus is on individuals that's living paycheck to paycheck. And I'll even take a step back and say paycheck to Monday, meaning you get paid on Friday and you broke on Monday. So within a two day span, you are your money is already gone. That's the client we're here to help. The one that don't really understand what, where the money is going, what they're spending. They need help with budget analysis, identifying what their financial goals are, understanding assets, what they are, like your liabilities. Also looking at your equi equity and determine what your net worth is. So yes, it's for the average everyday worker or someone that's even looking to start a business. Say you're a freelancer or you're an entrepreneur and you have variable income. We service those type of individuals. We have something at all levels for that specific client. The great thing about the career mompreneur is that it's customized to meet you where you're at and take you to where you need to go. So we can meet you at whatever level you're at. Okay. That's good news, guys. <laughs> she can meet you at whatever level you're at. And I I think it was key to bring that. I know you you mentioned that earlier, but I, you know, it was key to bring that out, especially when people are are, are coming in and maybe they didn't hear that earlier. Um, because again, we we you we talked about dealing with you know individuals who are they they're private. They okay, she's talking about finances. No, I'm not gonna tell you about my finances, you know. Um, but it, it it's for those individuals. It's also for those who, like you mentioned, living from paycheck to paycheck or Friday to Monday, and or they're not necessarily handling your finances um, well. That would benefit you and your family. So it is for each of you, uh, each of us, should I say? Okay. Um, you know, I hear so much about financing, uh, whether it's from software to other organizations. Can you tell me the, the, the biggest difference that co career mompreneur um, has to offer? Um, what, what, what would make career mompreneur stand out um, from other organizations who may be doing the same thing? Sure. So when you think about the career mompreneur, the goal is to get you on the path to financial success, whatever that may look like for you. So what the career mompreneur offers is the opportunity to be paired with a real life financial coach slash financial planner. 
who has the education, the certifications, all that there um, as the baseline. And in addition, when we think about like technology today, no matter how much we love technology, software cannot really provide that personal touch that most people need. Going back to the beginning where I talked about the money mindset, it's really hard to understand a client's money mindset through words that's typed in the text box or through an app or through some type of software. So the mom, the career mompreneur provides the opportunity for you to receive a customized financial plan for yourself or for your business. And then you meet with a financial coach on a monthly basis. And I know later we'll go on the website and talk about the different um, packages that are there for you based on what you need. But it allows you to meet with a financial coach monthly on a one-on-one -on -one basis to discuss the budget analysis, your goal analysis, your net worth. And to even take it a step further, you know, algorithms are great. But one of the things that, um, especially maybe for people that are that understand finance a little bit more, there's what you call the Monte, Mon Monte Carlo simulation. All the software that is developed and created has been created from scratch for my business. So it's called the Career Mompreneur Money Pro. And within this, it bakes in gold analysis, financial planning analysis, your net worth, your budgeting. It also, uh, my software also provides calculators where if like you just need a three minute money plan to understand like, hey, this is where I'm at today. Where do I need to go? Or I want to save for my daughter's wedding. How much money do I need to save? Or I'm at a certain age. I need to know if I have enough for retirement. You have the software that's there, but one of the things that the career mompreneur provides is that financial coaching. So when you think about it in the finance world, you, you can go to the large financial institutions today in the market just to get a financial plan. It's just a software document that's once you fill out um, the software, it's emailed to you. You don't have a financial coach talking you through it to explain the financial lingo. But in my plan, the, the, the package includes a coach and is a coach that will break down and answer any question that you have, address your fears with money, address your anxiety. You have someone to hold you accountable and to take that financial journey with you. So you're not left to a software that just pushes whatever you put in is the result. If you put garbage in, you get garbage out. If you put it in my software, guess what? I'm, I'm going through it. And I'm going to meet with you or any coach on my team is going to meet with you and discuss, OK, what is it that you input it? Where are you at? And the things that you don't type, we can pick up through that interaction because it's a one on one consultation, one on one monthly coaching sessions. Hey, I'm with you. One on one, you know, I, I know we live in a, a virtual world <laughs> and even more so now since, you know, when these past two, almost three years um, that we're dealing with. But to be able to have uh, that hands on still, even virtually, um, can 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 help. You know, I you know how, how often and you guys can probably understand you go on a, on a website and maybe you're you know trying to take care of some business or whatever and then pops up that little uh uh assistant hi i'm your assistant you know but it's still to me it's still not personal enough mm -hmm. um and it, after a while i'm picking up the phone and i want to talk to somebody you know what i mean <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> that's just maybe i'm old school i don't know but I, I sometimes I need to have that that person on the other end, uh, uh, someone tangible or um, someone to help, you know, guide me through. And again, if this is your expertise, this is your area of expertise, I'm, I'm going to listen. I'm going to say, you know, I, I, yeah, come take my hand and guide me through, you know. Um, so I thank you for mentioning that, that that's, you know, the biggest difference with career bombpreneur as opposed to, you know, other apps or software uh, or other, you know, <laughs> companies. So you may have other companies who don't have that one-on-one, -on -one, um, you know, individual that will, that will walk you through it. Um, I see you guys coming in and I appreciate it. Victoria Jones DeVos, my good friend, uh, lady etiquette. I see you. Thanks for coming in. Buddy Gill, he says, uh, good afternoon, ladies. And uh, to everyone else, uh, Sabrina, 
I, I tagged you on purpose. Thanks for coming in. Uh, she's another uh, financial whiz, if you will, uh, trader, investor, and she's, you know, this is, uh, I know she would uh, benefit in, in hearing from you as well. Iron sharpens iron. <laughs> um, let's see here. Uh, Brandy is here. Thanks for coming in. I appreciate you. And I'm trying to scroll back up, make sure I didn't miss anyone. If I did not call your name, charge to my head, not my heart. I am uh, just trying to make sure that we, we, we toggle back and forth to make sure that we're recognizing those of you that have come in because I, I don't uh, ever want to take your presence for granted. Um, but we're talking today with uh, Denise Ochebo. She is the CEO, uh, owner, founder of the Career Mompreneur, and she is coming on today uh, to continue on with our series that we established last year, The Psychology of Poverty. Um, and we're talking about financial healing on today in keeping with the theme uh, that God gave me, 22, 22 is the year of healing. So uh, again, if you have questions or comments that you want to engage in with my guests on today, please do not hesitate to um, drop them into the comment section on Facebook Live, Instagram, or YouTube. All get caught in the net, all right? Okay, let's see here. So tell us about the services that the Career Mompreneur offers. Sure. So one, well, two of the services that are built into a subscription plan, one is our silver membership. So what's included in the silver membership is all of our financial blogs and articles related to different financial topics. So credit, how to build credit, how to pay off a house in cash or buy a house in cash, understanding manage uh, money management tips, how to apply them to your life. Also, I share personal stories within some of my blogs um, around my financial journey and how I achieved uh, financial success over the course of my life, whether it was going to college, um, having money for college, taking the time off to go back to grad school full time, not working, but having the funding to do it and also pay for a wedding in cash. So there are different tips and nuggets that I put there that's included in both subscription packages, the, the silver and the gold. Um, also in the silver, it will be um, the Career Mompreneur Money Pro Budget Analysis. So each client will go in and fill out a profile and that profile will be then sent over to me. So the information is as great as the person make sure it's thoroughly completed, but also accurate because my recommendations on your budget is based on the information you input into the system. So that will be included. Also, um, individuals will have access to nine financial calculators. So there's one um, tool that I created called the Career the, the Career Mompreneur Money Pro 3-Minute Calculator, which is pretty much just a high-level nutshell where you input your information and it will help assess your financial health to determine like if there are gaps or things that you need to address. And from there, you can book a free consultation with the financial coach to go over that. Um, some other examples of calculators are debt repayment calculators, car loan, uh, wedding planning. Um, if you're looking to buy a house, also um, investment calculator. Um, and then there are other calculators that are going to be built into that system. I also do financial courses and videos that are always uploaded to YouTube. So you'll have access to that. So exclusive access to the blogs and articles, um, all the financial services. So I do have a la carte services where you may say, oh, I just need a budget or I need to understand investing for, for kids. You can just um, opt into that course if that's what you need. So you have a list of idea, um, things that you can participate in. It's just really based on that customer and what they need. Now, the gold plan, which is my premium plan and the best value is the full career mompreneur money pro financial plan. And this financial plan breaks down your budget analysis, your goal analysis, also identify what your net worth is. Sometimes if you ask an individual, what's your net worth, they can't give you the exact dollar amount. This, this um, tool that I created will be able to tell you exactly what your net worth is at the end of the year. And if you want to improve it, what you need to do. So at the end of the financial package, it will um, have recommendations that are customized specifically for that client, but also it's, it takes it a step further. It provides all the financial terminology in the easiest 
lingo for you to understand and comprehend exactly what the financial plan is telling you. And so it's always up to the client because this is where the financial literacy part comes in is that the financial plan is as good as the information you provide. That's why we start off with changing your money mindset, because the more open and honest you are, the better the plan and the recommendations I will provide will be for you. And then it's up to you as the client to take that plan and recommendations and put them into action. The great part about the goal subscription is that it includes the one-on-one monthly financial coaching. So you will have monthly one hour coaching with me where we will go over your budget month to month. Because of course, life happens to all of us. You may had overspent a little bit or you had an unexpected um, expense come up and we may need to discuss like, okay, what does your emergency savings look like and how do we build it? And then some clients are maybe on more of the advanced financial planning side where they may say, okay, my finances are perfect. They're all together. I want to get prepared to invest. So at that point, I'll help prepare you, make sure your finances and budgets are properly in the place that you need them to be so you can do some serious investing. Now, I am I do not do the investing side, but what I do is offer the fundamentals of investing, understanding what investing is and all the components of it, but I have a partner company that I will send the client to that will handle investment management like asset allocation, picking the stocks. I will have courses that teach you like about stocks, but I won't personally go invest directly for you. I have a partner company that I that I send the client to to do that. So that those are the two big subscription plans. Um, and when you think about the overall value right now, financial plans are normally um, assessed for the top one percent of clients in the world. So that means you need to make over a million or more to even have the opportunity to get a financial plan with a financial planner. Um, and that can run you between forty five hundred to seven thousand dollars a year without coaching. And I know we're gonna, later going to get into my packages, but I'm offering that at one fourth of the cost because again, my goal is to really change the narrative and give people access to the financial resources, the financial coach with my level of expertise that they may never, ever get access to. I want to change that narrative. So those are the packages. And of course, I have a la carte services where it's just one service by itself, depending on like your need. It's about 14 other services you can look into um, one off. So, yeah. Wow. That's a lot. That's a lot. Okay. Now you've told us about all these services, but how does one know that this is right for them? Yeah. So I think just taking like a step back and really assessing where you are financially, what your goal is, and where you're trying to go will really help you understand, is this right for you? Whether you're a newbie, whether you are an expert in finance, or your finances are together and you just want a second opinion, the career mompreneur has something for you. And as I mentioned in the beginning, regardless of your income level, your investment portfolio, Having the financial knowledge and literacy is essential, not just for yourself individually. If you're a mom, you can now change what we talked about at the beginning. Those be financial behaviors that you instill in your children so they can now break generational curses. If you're not a mom and you're in your career and you're looking someday to become a mom or just to move up in your career, understanding how to properly manage your finances, debt management, credit management, financial planning management, budget management is a lifetime skill that anyone at any level need to have. And there right now only shows that about 23% of the population in the U.S. have financial plans and budgets. So where's the other 65%? They don't have them. And then we wonder why the cycle of poverty, as we, the topic is the psychology of poverty constantly repeat, or we live paycheck to paycheck or check to Monday. You paid on Friday, you broke on Monday. Because we don't properly financially plan for the future and we don't instill that into the next generation coming behind. And that's where the career mompreneur is stepping in to change that narrative. Love it. Love it. She wants to help eradicate this. We want to break this cycle. We want to break this cycle because indeed it it can turn into uh, just that. Um, I see that you've joined us, Marcus Hill. Thank you so much. We talked about you earlier. 
Uh, and Brandy says here, sounds like something everyone could benefit from regardless of our financial status. I, I would totally agree, uh, Brandy, totally agree. Uh, let's see here, is there any? Okay, I'm trying to make sure I'm not uh, messing, uh, missing your comments here. So um, we, let, let's move into talking about financial coaching, if, if you will. Uh, let's see, what, now what is a financial coach? Sure. So a financial coach helps teaches you practical ways to improve your relationship with money. Um, and that's around money management, such as how to build a savings or to pay down debt. A financial coach sometimes goes by different names. People hear money management coach or money life coach or life coach or money coach. But a financial coach specifically teaches you the basics of personal finance and how to build and plan for the short term. A financial planner, which is different from a financial coach, takes that basic foundational knowledge that you have and help you build for the long term. With a career mompreneur, you have both within me. You have a financial coach and financial planner. That's why I go back to the beginning where we meet you where you are at um, individually. That's why everything is customized to that individual. And you will start off with the money, the career mompreneur money pro profile, because your profile will send over to us to let us know exactly where you at. So we know which path you need to take. So irrespective, if you need a financial coach where you just need like short term, I need an emergencies fund. I need to pay down some debt. I need to just understand a budget and have something in writing where and meet with a coach that teaches me how, like where the money's coming in, how's it going out. That's a financial coach. They'll help you get your short, short term finances together. If you're thinking more long term around retirement planning, um, paying for college for a child that's 18 and 15 years that you need. You have the financial planner also aspect that will help you understand your net worth and how to build so that later, if your goal is investment planning, you, you have the proper finances and budget to tap in and do that. So that's the difference between the two, because we get that question a lot is like, how do I know which one? It really depends on, are you looking for short term or long term? And if you're looking for both, you have the financial planner who, who does both. Um, so the career mompreneur offers that, but I think it's good for everyone to have a basic understanding of what, what these terms actually mean so that they know what to expect and what they're getting. Right, right. Definitely. Um, because there will be questions, like you say, you already, you already, you get that a lot. Um, so you already talked about, uh, let's see, oh goodness, what the financial coaching would help you with. Cause as you were talking about coaching, I was, I was really thinking of, you know, a coach will help you from A to Z, you know, they're mm -hmm. going to take their time out with you and yes. uh, make sure that you are performing at your best. Um, you know, whether it is, you know, you're playing for college or pros or whatever, a, a good coach, should I say, will, will take time out for that. So of course, I don't know why I was thinking about sports, <laughs> but <laughs> You know, good, good right. <laughs> uh, so, and, and, and thanks for telling the difference between that and financial planning. Now, um, as far as the coach uh, mompreneur, how should we go into talking about the, the costs um, of the coach mompreneur? Do you want to, you want to wait to bring that up? Cause I have some more questions. Uh, we could, yeah, we, we can bring it up at the end when we um, open up the website because the price okay. is there and it actually break down what's included. I think it'll just be some people are visual. I don't know. I know I am, but right. maybe if they see it all at once, they'll know what, what they're getting. Okay. All right. We'll do that. We'll do that towards the end. We'll bring up her website, um, everyone, so that you will see what the, um, how much the coach mompreneur coach uh, would cost and all of that. So let's see here. Buddy says, this is a great service that Denise is offering and I pray for her success. My question is, is this a service for the mommies only? Now, uh, obviously, Mr. Buttergill, you come in like you just came in. We did uh, address that, but I'm going to let Denise answer that question again. No. So this service is not for moms only. The name is the Career Mompreneur. So it's for women who are in their career, may not be moms at all, looking to just transition to a new career or elevate within their current career. Um, it's for women that may be stay-at-home moms who's managing all the money and finances at home. It's also for women who may be moms in careers and then also 
women who may be moms in careers that are entrepreneurs. I also do take men clients, but it's by referral only since my target is mainly women. But no, you do not necessarily have to be a mom to learn finance or financial planning. So it's open to all women at any level of income or um, status. Okay. All right. You got that, buddy? <laughs> Hopefully she answered that for you. So uh, she she will take referrals of um, males, uh, the men. And so if you, if you need a referral buddy, uh, I can probably refer you. I know, buddy, that's what I say. <laughs> uh, so that, that's a great question though, um, buddy. So thanks for asking that again, people come in at different times on the live feed. So they may not have heard that earlier. Uh, Carla carry on. I appreciate you. She says awesome information. Uh, thanks for coming in and Brandy. Thanks for tagging and all of you that are tagging and sharing when you're coming in. I thank you. I thank you. Uh, let, let's talk about advanced financing coaching. Can we do that now? Um, oh, but he's okay. So they answered his question. <laughs> he said, <Perfect>. yes. <laughs> All right. So let's see here. What is the purpose of a financial plan? And are they offered by the career mompreneur? And I know you kind of talked a little bit about financial planning. Uh, yeah. Maybe you can kind of answer this uh, in a little bit more detail. Yes. So a financial plan provides the following. So it's a more detailed analysis than a budget. Um, the budget will help you understand. So first your current state, but then also your future state and how to reach those, um, how to, to reach your future state based on your financial goals that you Im import into the financial portal um, that I that I'm offering. Also, the financial plan consists of an overview of your assets, your liabilities, your income, your expenses. In addition to that, it provides financial health analysis, goal health analysis, your net worth, and your overall financial health. So advanced financial planning provides more of the details, and that's what's offered in the gold membership, which is the one we talked about before. And I know we'll go to the website, but that's the all-inclusive. This is for individuals that are very serious about change in their financial situation. You are going to get the best of the best in this package. And it's going to provide a very detailed level of analysis. And then also the career mompreneur goes a step beyond just like traditional financial planning in the aspect that it in the report that you will get um, with the recommendations, it shows all the definitions of the financial lingo in the easiest explanation for you to be able to understand exactly what is an asset, what is a liability, what are some of those key financial terms you always maybe hear but don't understand, quite understand what they mean and how they apply to you. Those definitions will be provided in the advanced financial planning package, which is in the gold membership. Okay, all right, wonderful. All right, let's see here. Um, as I'm asking questions again, guys, uh, if you have any uh, questions for Denise, uh, even before we pull up her website and look a little bit uh, further into uh, the career mompreneur, please go ahead and throw them into the, uh, the comment section. I, I did want to ask you before I move forward with the rest of the questions, when did you begin this uh, or found this, this organization? Yes. So the Career Mompreneur was founded in 2021, but I officially registered it this month. And it's we're shy of a week and a half away from officially launching. But I already have clients that have signed up who I'm getting started now. Um, so once we officially launch, everything will be full fledged operating. So, yeah. Wonderful. We're ready. Wonderful. We're, ready yeah. now. <laughs> we're ready now, but we're preparing the full package of the launch video and everything. Um, awesome. Awesome. I think I saw some posts that you, you're, they were, others want to collaborate with you or did I see something like that? Collaboration. Some, yeah. Or that they were calling on you or they were, they were saying that your, your posts that you've had thus far and they were interested in your work. Yes. So, I, yes. So I've been, um, so right now, several entrepreneurs have reached out to me who have a very established businesses who are missing that financial component. So in February, I'll be teaching, um, several financial, um, literacy workshops, webinars to, um, talk about the career mompreneur, what we offer and also partner with their business so that their clients can now enroll and go through the career mompreneur program. Um, so yeah, every, several individuals have been reaching out to me. Um, I've also 
have my own lineage of financial professionals who are backing my business up. Um, I have women that are vice presidents and CEOs at some of the well-known financial institutions who happen to be millionaires and billionaires who have tested, proved, and stamped my business. And they're like, this is what they need. Um, so this is this has been tested and tried and true out in, in the market, in the financial community. So when I say we're providing the best of the best that most individuals can't even get access to, um, I can even give an example of one of my mentors right now, her lowest client that she writes, uh, conducts financial plans for net worth is $15 million, the lowest, the lowest. So when I say that I was able to take all of how things are done in the financial world and now bring this service to individuals that are only normally get this type of service in the 1% is serious. And that's because most times as a financial advisors, financial planners, they're looking at the level that you're at to hopefully get you to that next level of investment planning. And for when you look at society and the percentage of individuals that actually have financial plans are, or are on the plan to invest, they're not there yet. So I said, we need to take a step back and we need to grasp the individuals that don't have access to this to turn that their financial situation around so that we can change the narrative. It's no more living paycheck to paycheck or check to Monday. We need to be financially prosperous because we we can do it. It's not that people don't have the ability to do it. They just lack access to the resources on how to do it. And that's where the career mompreneur comes in. And like I said, I have a team. I have a creative team of CPAs, financial planners, entrepreneurs, marketing directors, all on my team who will be available to help in coaching. So I have the leading experts in the industry um, and, and, and they they have partnered with me. They'll be working with me um, on the Career Mompreneur platform. And as we get ready to launch, there'll be more information coming out about that. Love it. Somebody put on here that you're passing on the legacy. I totally agree. And you, you, you obviously did your, your research mm -hmm. and looked at the market uh, or looked to see what was out there before you began uh, in 2021. Now, how long before 2021 had this been on uh, Denise's uh, uh, long term list or, or, or goal to do this? Uh, what did it just the idea just come up in 2021 or, or was it prior to? No, this was prior. This is something I've been working on for the last 15 plus years. Wow. It just happened that this was the time that I said, I have to do it. I'm ready to step out there because I'm ready to take on changing the narrative. So one of the things that's very important for me, especially being in the finance and accounting world, is to have the education yourself. Make sure your coaches have the education, the knowledge, the certification, so that they're actually passing on information that actually change lives, not self-made financial gurus that want to now teach someone something. No, this is individuals and even myself who have spent years dedicated to the finance and accounting rural and industry, but also who's living it themselves. So this has been on my radar since 2005. I always knew, and it goes back to that story about childhood. I grew up in a middle-class family. I saw my parents struggle financially. And I said, there's something that's missing that I want to learn and make sure I learn it so I can teach others and change the narrative. And so this has always been on my mind. That's why I studied finance and accounting in undergrad. I continued on in higher education. And now I'm at the point, I'm like, I'm ready to teach others. I'm ready to bring others along this journey and lift as I climb, because it's not just about me. It's about developing a community to say that, hey, we all change the narrative. This is no longer paycheck to paycheck or check to Monday. I'm paid on Friday. I'm broke on Monday. We need to change that. And the way that it's changed is when individuals who have the knowledge and education take the time and invest back in to others that may not have necessarily have access to it. I can get the assets because I work in the community. I have a strong network of individuals that can do certain things for me, but do people that don't have that access or education or know how, how can tap into that like I can? No. So I want to open that up to them to help them change their financial trajectory so that is no longer 
oh, I have $600, but I'm broke or money don't grow on trees or save money for a rainy day. Let's change those slogans and say, I'm financially prosperous. My lineage is blessed. My financial lineage has wealth and create generations coming before and after to say that we have all changed the narrative. That's where that stemmed from. But this started back in the early 2000s. It, it, it wasn't an overnight thing. It was more of make sure all the stones are put in place so that when it goes out, it can provide the best um, personal customer experience for clients so that if one is successful, they'll go get five more. And then we build a community over time where we're all a part of this community that are breaking generational curses of financial poverty, of financial lack of financial literacy. That will change. And it will start with the career mompreneur. I'm telling y'all, if you all are not picking up what she's putting down today, I feel sorry for you. My goodness. I, and, and I asked that question for a reason. Because that 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 shows um, that you didn't rush into it. Mm -hmm. It shows that um, you're were determined to do it and to make this change to to you know eradicate this behavior that we continue to exhibit and 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 going in this this same direction over and over again. Uh, you wanted to break the cycle. And I think when you're dealing with, and you're talking about finances and dealing with money, you have to have stability because that's what that showed me at, at, you know, as far as you're concerned um, since 2005. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, <laughs> uh, you, you were determined, you know, to, to do this and, you know, the Lord has blessed you. And our timing is not God's timing. He may give us an idea or something to, you know, develop. Uh, and sometimes we want to do it right away. Come right. on, y'all, y'all, y'all know, y'all know I'm telling the truth, you know, cause you know, in our minds as humans, what, 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 why are we waiting? Can I just take care of this now? You know? Um, but sometimes it takes, it takes time to marinate. It takes time to bake. It takes time, you know, for things to, you know, uh, develop, um, so that just like you said, when it does come out, it'll be a benefit for everyone. And it's not just, you just not just throwing out something, you know, kind of sloppily or whatever. Then we'll be back in the same position we were in, you know what I mean? Right. <laughs> so, you know, you having that uh, tenacity and um, that wisdom to carry it out, to, to develop, to carry it out and um, to see it through, um, my hat is off to you. I admire you for that. Thank you. Um, let's see. Buddy says, I like this, Denise, and the way she's thinking. I need millions more like her. <laughs> God bless you, Denise. Now, I, I always tell my guests, if you get Buddy Gill to come on here and say that he like you. <laughs> Thank you. I'm telling you. <laughs> Buddy Gill, he's... He's uh, I, I appreciate him. He's one of my one of my biggest supporters. Uh, he along with a few other individuals. But uh, when Buddy says he likes you and you know interested in what you're saying, <laughs> I know Buddy. I'm pushing you up there, but uh, I, I I do appreciate that. But um, uh, hey, over here on Instagram, I'm sorry guys. How are you all doing? Thanks for coming in. I appreciate you. Um, we're talking today again with uh, Denise Ochebo. She is the CEO owner of The Career Mompreneur. And today we have this segment is um, listed under our Psychology of Poverty series. We're talking today about financial freedom. We're talking today uh, about financial healing. And this young lady uh, has she has just talked about some great things on today. She did not disappoint uh, in, in her conversation and helping us to get to where we need to be. Uh, and I believe it's where God intends for us to be as well. Um, and I'm gonna ask her a couple more questions and then we're gonna go to her website so that you guys can see what she has here. So let's see here. I have, where did I stop off at? I, we were under advanced finance, uh, financing coaching and we're talking about is uh, your financial plan, is it automatically updated? Mm -hmm. um, why don't you answer that first before we move forward? Yes. Yeah, so with the financial plan, um, when you sign up for a subscription membership, so specifically the gold membership, 
it is automatic. It's not automatically updated, but you will have a link where you can go back in and as your financial situation change, you can go back and provide updated information. And what will happen is at the end of the year, so say in January, you sign up at the end of the year. So the first time you sign up, you'll have like your initial coaching session and you'll receive the full financial plan. But throughout the year, month to month, you update your budget, expenses, actuals, at the end of the year, that one year, you'll get a new financial report that will show you exactly where you're at, your net worth. So you will have your beginning of the year plan to compare your end of the year. And it will show you because one thing I believe is that when people start to see the needle move towards improvement, it creates a different mindset towards money. So going back to the beginning where we talked about your money mindset, shifting your money mindset, it's important for people to see their financial, their finances getting better over time. And then once they start seeing improvements, say I pay, I was able to pay off a $20,000 or uh, $15,000 credit card. That gives them more hope. Now you have more cash. Now you feel like, okay, I'm moving closer towards whatever your long-term goal is. If it's investment planning, retirement planning, paying down student loans or college debt, like you have more hope as you start to see it move. That's why on a month-to-month -month basis, you can go in and update your profile and you'll get a new budget analysis. And in our one-on-one -on -one coaching, we'll talk about it. You'll talk about like what you did differently, how you stuck to your budget, or maybe a life, you know, life happens to us all. Something, you know, got you off track and we will readjust just because you get off track in one month doesn't mean it's over. You can, the, the key thing is to learn how to pivot and get back on track. And that's why I say the gold plan, the gold membership plan offers the best value because you have that one-on-one -on -one financial coaching where we have those discussions. You have that personal touch so that you could get all your questions answered, but then you can also understand how to get back on track when I get off track and make sure at the end of the year, I'm improving. My net worth is going up. So that's the goal. Um, and, and everyone can achieve it. It's just really all starting your mindset that if you believe you can do it, you can do it. But if you come in defeated and believe you won't be able to do it, no matter how much debt you in or your financial situation, you'll always stay there. That's why it starts in your mind. And I think to the question you asked earlier, like, when did it start? In 2005, I saw myself at this point. Yes, in 2021, I'm here, but I've done a lot in between that to make sure I get here at the right time with the right information and the right resources. So Ooh. it's important to have a mindset to believe that you can do it and then you will do it. Yeah, definitely. Uh, that's important. And I'm glad that you brought up when you mentioned, you know, if, if we make a mistake and, you know, it's okay, you know, don't waddle in that basically, you know, because you can, you can come out of that. Um, some people kind of get stuck if they do make a financial mistake or any other kind of mistake. Uh, you know, whether they spend too much or order too much Amazon, you know, or it <laughs> Netflix subscriptions. Yeah. <laughs> right. Right. But, uh, but you, you don't, you don't have to stay there. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Um, you were talking about uh, goals earlier, but as far as uh, helping to plan for my goals is, is the career mompreneur is, is it good for that as well? Yes. So in the profile, the career mompreneur money pro profile that you will complete and plan financial plan, there is um, a session in there where you will actually input your goals. It's required that you put one in like you have to put one. But I recommend like three within like that first year. You don't want to have 10 goals and, and then none of them are achievable because you're trying to focus on too many things. It's always suggested in financial planning to at least have three solid goals and we call them smart goals. Make sure you know that they're smart goals and I can go in more details what that actually mean. But um, yes, in the system, there are there is an area within the profile where you input your financial goals and all of your recommendations are always linked back to that financial goal you want to achieve and how to achieve it. So that will be the report you get where I go in, I analyze your profile and I provide recommendations based on the goals you set, where you're at currently in your budget and where you need to go. And the, my recommendations is filling that gap on how do you get to where you need to go? Okay. All right. That, that makes sense. That makes a whole lot of sense. 
Um, I hope you guys are understanding this on today. I'm learning something. I'm telling you, I'm learning some great stuff on today. And let's see here. I have a couple more questions for you. Um, now the financial plan, um, of, of the career mompreneur, it, will we see the cost when we go into your website or do you want, uh, um, yeah. It's all okay. it's all within the subscription. So the subscription plan includes the financial, the career mompreneur money pro plan. Okay. That's what you're paying for. All right. Um, that's fine. I, I want to, I'm I'm actually pulling up the website, so I'll have it ready. But okay. um security and confidentiality. I know we talked earlier about how some people are uh they may be a little bit uncomfortable talking about their finances. And, you know, you, you know how to get around that or deal with that. But uh, can, can we assume <laughs> that the career of mompreneur will be confidential uh, with our, with our business, with our personal business? Um, and how, how does that, how does that look for the career mompreneur? Yes. Yeah, so the career mompreneur obviously recognized that, you know, our relationship and about our current finances, our future finances are private, but in our organization is based on integrity, trust, commitment to keep all interests at the forefront. And so with that being said, we work extremely hard to maintain privacy and also have my privacy policy, all my legal policies on the site um, for you to review at your leisure. But everything is private between that financial planner and the client. Like I can't even tell your spouse or a family member, anything that's going on because the career mompreneur is backed up to operate um, under the CFP, which is the certified financial planning conduct. Um, and also the FINRA, which are certain finance certifications you have to provide financial and in or investment advice. So we do operate under all those conduct and behavior um, requirements also, you will have access to the privacy policy. And when a client signs up, they receive a client agreement. So a lot of the um, legality and privacy um, policies and laws are there. So both people, both individuals signed it, the financial planner and the client, because it is a contractual agreement where no information is sent out to like third parties, relatives, anybody. It's just like when you go to a bank and you deposit your money into your bank account, you are under the impression that your money is protected and also there are privacy policies that are in place where your information is not leaked out to the public. The same exact thing is provided behind the career mompreneur and even the software that's developed. Like the software that I had created has been developed by a financial institution. So um, everything is backed up and no right. information is sent out. So all policy, private policy, sharing policy, client agreements, all that information is on the website for you to review at your leisure. Wonderful, wonderful. That, But you know, that's good to know because people want uh, to keep their <laughs> stuff confidential. Right. Um, all right, guys, we're going to go to the website um, so that I can show you guys. And she's going to kind of walk me through the different uh, areas that she wants to um, speak on on today. And again, if you have any, um, let me do this share here. If you have any questions on what we do, Instagram, give me a moment. I'll let you see it as well. And as I'm talking, of course, my computer gonna, my goodness. Can you all, you all can't see that on Facebook, can you? I see it now. Yes. I see. Okay. And for right. the, um, you can also let them know. So the website is www.thecareermompreneur, all one word, dot com. And that will take you directly to the website. Or if you Google, because we are on Google, um, <laughs> Google the career <laughs> mompreneur, it'll automatically take you to the website. Okay. All right. Um, so you guys have that here. Let me, I'm going to try as you're talking, try and type in the um, uh, website and the comment section on Facebook Live. And then we'll also make sure that you have it on Instagram and YouTube. So the career mompreneur all is word. all one word yeah. is the website. All right. So I'm, I'm going to make sure I spell that right. Okay. 
All right, so it's down at the bottom. I'm going to pin it, guys. Hey, Shannon, thanks for coming in. Appreciate you. Uh, let's see here. Is it going to let me pin it? I just put it in, guys. All right, pin in the comment. And this is what we're looking at now. Okay, so you have here discover the career ma uh, mompreneur, and it is trademark, guys. So you can't take her name <laughs> <laughs> or the software. You can't take the name or the software. Everything is trademarked and copyright. <laughs> right, right. Oh, that, that's good stuff. That's good stuff. Okay, so where where do you want where do you want to start here? You want to so take if you just scroll down. Um, so there are first two ways you can get to um, the subscription either in the menu by, by subscribe or you could just scroll down. The two subscription plans are on the home page also for your convenience. Okay. All right. So this is the sub, uh, subscription. And, and so in the, go ahead. So in the orange, this is just a little um, verbiage or language about the gold membership and the career mompreneur money pro that I was discussing. Um, and it just explains what it does for you. But if you scroll down, so the two plans I was talking about is your silver plan, which includes the budget analysis. It is for $9.99 per month. That only includes meeting with a financial coach twice a year. So semi-annually. The all-inclusive plan, which is the gold membership, which includes full access to the career mompreneur financial plan, which includes a detailed budget analysis, um, financial goal analysis, understanding your net worth, understanding your financial health, but then also receiving all the recommendations on how to improve your finances is included in the gold membership plan for $99.99 a month or an annual subscription of $1,199, which is the exact same as the $99.99 a month. So it's two options. You either pay it in full or you pay uh, monthly. And under each category, so if you see here, it tells you what's included. So you have content, all content sent to your email. So that's all financial articles and blogs sent to your email. You have access to all a la carte services. So if there are one-off services um, based on the 12 that, that are there that you want or need, um, you have access to book that. Um, also, you will get monthly financial coaching um, in the gold membership. And then you have access to the financial calculator. So if you scroll back up to the top, I just want to show everyone where the financial calculators are. And okay. you can go on there and test them out yourself too now because they're live. So here, and more will be added, but right now you will see a description of what the calculators uh, will be. So there are about nine in total that will be loaded. Um, the last five are still getting developed before the launch. But like, for example, if you click on financial calculator and click on the three minute money pro. Is it further? Am I scrolling? Okay. Wait. No, go back up, go, go back to financial calculators and hoover over it. You'll see the drop down. Oh, okay. The three right minute there. money pro. Yes. So this one lets you know how the, it assess your financial health within three minutes. So you go in, you enter your information, um, if your age, and it will produce a financial, a three minute financial health assessment report that will be sent directly to your email to let you know where you're at. And then you will have a link in there where you can click for a free consultation to discuss with a financial coach. Also, another example, if you go back and hoover over it, is like the net worth calculator. So if you just want to know high level, like what is my net worth um, based on my current financial situation, you could go in, enter in your information, and it will cal calculate your net worth, your high level net worth. But the financial, the subscription plan has more of the details about the financial worth calculator and how to improve it. So that's the difference. These are just like simple financial calculators. When you sign up, you have access to um, and high level reports where you can have the information and say like, okay, I have a baseline understanding. Now I want to book a financial coaching session with a coach to discuss how to improve this. And that's where you will sign up for the subscription plan. So okay. there will be more calculators being added uh, right now that are right now going through quality and testing. Um, before launch, they'll all be here. But those are the ones that are available as of right now before launch. Okay. All right. And, uh, any, go ahead. Anywhere else you want me to go? Um, so then the about page is just more about me, how the business was started, the mission, um, 
and just a little bit more verbiage. Um, if you click on blogs here, you will find all the financial tips, uh, financial blogs that I write personally about financial top, different financial topics. And you see all the topics across. So you will have one on credit, career, mindset, and motivation. Um, understanding different key financial topics do help provide tips and just ways to shift your mindset. And then also have things just on culture, hair, hairstyle, I braid hair. So just different products I use for my daughter for health, hair growth. Um, all things motherhood will be included, recommending products for children at different stages, um, infant stage, toddler stage, et cetera. Um, if you go back up, one other last aspect I want to show is if you go to shop. So I have the Career Mompreneur store where all the products um, that are customized for my clients are here. So different quotes are included. You have pins, you have stickers. If you keep scrolling down, there are about 24 products um, that you can individually pick and choose um, for the career mompreneur that have been developed and they would be shipped automatically to your house when you check out. Oh, I love it. And we can load more. So there's more there. Okay. Yeah. Love it. Love it. Okay. And if you have any questions on the home page, there is a contact form. So in the contact form, that's where you can put your name, your email address. It will come over to the career mompreneur and you can type up any questions you may have and someone will get back within you, get back to you within 24 to 48 hours. So that's at the bottom um, okay. of the page. And then if you would like to just subscribe to be on our email list to know what's coming, what blogs are out, what YouTube videos or what eventually courses are going to be offered. So if you want to stay on, stay in the loop on anything that will be coming um, throughout the course of the Career Mompreneur Evolution, you can also go all the way to the bottom and join our email list to stay up to date on new releases and any material, um, any merchandise or anything that is added to the site, you'll be informed right away um, on our email list. So that's it. That's the site. Of course, there's more information there that like you can check out. But those are the big things that I wanted to highlight just to show people how to navigate the site. And again, if you would like to sign up and subscribe, you can do it from this homepage above where the two subscription plans are there. You just um, select which one and it provides details of what each um, plan offers. And you can just check out right here or you can actually click on the subscribe link. And when you click there, you'll see all the plans and sign up for the one that meets your needs. All right. All right. OK, guys, we have it all here. And uh, the again, the website is the career dot com. I did place it at the bottom uh, pinned it at the bottom of the live feed. I also placed it on Instagram. I'll get over to YouTube and place it there as well so and that they will have follow your us on social media. So all the icons are also there on top, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Pinterest. We have, we're on all social media platforms. Pinterest. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right. So that, that was going to be my next, cause I want them to be able to find you as well. So she's on Facebook guys, Instagram, uh, YouTube, right? Yes. And, and Pinterest. Pinterest. Okay. All right. So make sure you guys go to the website. She has everything lined out there for you and you should not miss anything. Okay. Let me uh, end that share there, but make sure you guys go there and uh, you'll benefit. You will definitely benefit. You can subscribe. You can, um, you can get in contact with Denise and she'll help you. Thank you, buddy. I see your comment. How you doing, Apostle? Thanks for coming in. I appreciate you as well. Make sure you guys click that share button. Click the share button. This has been tremendous. Um, I, I'm going to ask you guys again. Do you have any questions that you want to ask Denise today? Um, do you want to, some of y'all can be a little bit personal, so you may want to inbox her yourself, which is fine. Um, we don't, we don't, uh, <laughs> we don't discriminate. You can, you can do that as well. 
Um, you know, because people, you know, even though we talk about people have to come out of that mindset, you know, you still have to, there's a way to handle them. Um, so, and and it's okay. So if you want to reach out to her directly, if you want to go to her website and you want um, want to, um, you know, uh, solicit uh, the services of the Career Mompreneur, you can do that as well. We wanted to use this platform today to be able to um, give a little bit of exposure to it, you know, for my listeners and um, my subscribers, those who um, support me. Uh, and so that you will know about the career mompreneur. There may be, again, as I stated earlier, your daughter, your, your wife, your, your girlfriend, your, or whoever, um, that you want them to benefit from, whether you know some single mothers, uh, married, <laughs> Uh, mothers, if you will, that could benefit from this. Um, she, she's given us a load of information, uh, a plethora of information, if you will, on today to help us to get into, and I, I'm, I'm, I'm glad of the way she did it on today, because it, it allows us to get into that mindset first um, mm -hmm. of you know, wanting to 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 break out of uh, the poverty mentality. Um, of course, the series was the psychology of poverty, and so when you you get someone individual set up mentally, they will be able to receive what you have. Um, you know, that will help benefit. She she uh, this started in her mind in two thousand five, guys, and it has come full circle for her and for you. And we know that you all are going to uh, benefit from it. So you want to give us any any last minute thing? Where, you know, no, let me ask you this question. Where do you see, uh, and we know that you just really uh, became established uh, last year, this year with the, with the corporation papers and all of that. Where do you see uh, the career mompreneur? You had it as, it started as an idea. Um, and I know that you have goals as well. Where do you see the career mompreneur in, let's say, maybe 10 years? Yes, um, in 10 years. So when I think about the evolution of the mompreneur, eventually the mompreneur will have a university where we offer courses, financial courses that individuals don't have access to in the academia world. So unless you go to school and study finance or accounting, most times you're not learning about credit. You're not learning about taxation or understanding the different components of taxes and even just financial literacy. So my goal is to build this out into a platform where individuals can come and get all their financial literacy courses that they need, continue um, education hours, so that they can now step out into the financial world and feel like they're prepared from a financial perspective versus saying, oh, I went to college, I got a degree, but I didn't really learn exactly what I need for life. So that's where the career mompreneur is looking to fulfill that gap. And then over time, build, build out a team, build out um, more a team of financial coaches where maybe um, I'll, I'm thinking of having like a podcast, a university, um, also opportunities where I even bring in and individuals to have certain seminars on certain financial topics who are out there in the careers um, in financial industries, maybe, you know, talking about how clients can start from this point, but where they can go. Like if your future is to become a millionaire, what are those steps that you need to get there or, the, or a billionaire? How do I financially plan for that? I want the career mompreneur to be known as a staple where they're helping individuals transform their lives, not just for themselves, but also generations to follow. So that's where I see the career mompreneur going um, long, long term and potentially partnering with maybe um, universities or high schools to be offered as a course in their curriculum uh, will be a, a big goal of mine to see so that we can start changing that narrative at a younger age. So by the time adolescents become adults, they're financially savvy they're prepared to take on this role um, from a financial perspective. Love it. Love it. I love those goals. <laughs> She's got things laid out. Oh, they are loving you, honey. <laughs> All these comments, honey, were like, I love it. Yeah, I, I would agree as well. You know, speaking of young people, uh, I, I want to kind of maybe take a little turn, just a slight little turn. Talk mm -hmm. about um, you personally. Now you have a beautiful, a beautiful daughter with your husband. And, you know, as you were talking, I'm thinking when you talked about you want to have a school and you want this to, you know, to advance further. Someone mentioned earlier that you are um, you're establishing in, uh, an, a legacy uh, to leave. Now, uh, 
your beautiful daughter named Grace. Uh, you, I, I, I've been seeing videos of you teaching her mm-hmm. um, different things. So what, what do you want to leave for Grace? Do you want to leave this as a legacy for Grace? Uh, we, we, we talked a little bit about this before, <laughs> before the segment, but kind of share with us what your mentality is uh, regarding your daughter and the career mompreneur. Yes. So the career mompreneur is going to evolve and there will be a kid segment in there where I'm teaching kids how to invest. So my daughter will be my business partner. So it will start with her and I'll start teaching her the fundamentals of accounting, of finance. And as she starts taking classes and understanding it, she'll take it to the next level for the generation that's coming with her and behind. So things always change over time. But one of the things um, that I'm looking forward to breaking is all financial generational curses where this will be a legacy where my daughter can take it and take it to the next level for people coming behind her or people within her generation where she can teach them and show them like, hey, my money mindset as the story I gave in the beginning about my example, her example will be different. Because she will have now had the tools and resources at a very young age to understand money management. And therefore, her trajectory will be different and she passed that down to her children. So that's the way I'm building it um, to be a legacy for my daughter and my grandkids and my grandkids, grandkids. So that this narrative, because that's this is a movement. This is a narrative shift. And within a narrative shift and movement, it needs to continue generations after you. So I'm preparing my daughter to step into that rightful place where she can take it to the next level and prepare the generations coming behind her. Beautiful. Love it. Love it. Uh, a shout out to your husband. Uh, I, it, I'm sure. Well, I'm sorry, Grace. I, I was thinking this earlier. I may have said this to you. She had a hundred percent chance. She has a hundred percent chance. Yeah. <laughs> I'm moving in this, I'm moving in this area. Uh, Denise and her husband are, are, I'm telling you, they're, they're very intelligent. <laughs> uh, what, what is it that your husband does again? He's a data scientist. So he has a statistics and mathematics background and then me finance and accounting. So she has no way to not know math, whether she wants to or not, she will know math and science for sure. <laughs> right, right. Definitely. Um, how does your, how does your husband and even your extended family, your, your parents and your, your siblings, um, feel about this, this direction that you've taken? Yes, they're very supportive. So, you know, definitely give honor to my parents who are both listening, my siblings and even my sister-in-law and my extended family out in Nigeria who has been supportive. So my husband and family have all rallied behind it. Um, They've always known my passion for finance and accounting. I think it was just more of they're like, when are you going to start? When are you going to do it? Um, we see you doing you doing it. And, you know, they've always been supportive. It's just been taking that leap of faith and making sure, you know, I fully felt confident and ready to do it. And you can never honestly be ready to step into entrepreneurship. Uh, you don't know until you just do it. <laughs> and I think that's the most important thing. But having a supportive family and team rallying behind me, constantly pushing me, encouraging me when I don't feel like continuing or when it gets long, become long hours. Um, my family makes a huge sacrifice because their hours. I built that website by myself. I did everything from the software development to figuring out exactly what I want, hiring on the people to help construct the the program, the um, Career Mompreneur Money Pro, because it was developed, you know, in partnership with another company. But the whole layout, the vision, the manpower behind it, everything you see on my website, I have physically put it there. So it was hours that went into it and it took my, you know, combination of being in marketing, being a director, learning the creatives, understanding, you know, social media and outside of social media, other ways behind the scenes to make sure that my business get out there is targeted properly, is uh, marketed properly. I took all the knowledge and skill set and experience that I've had along with the support of my family and my team behind me, rallying for me to get to this point. And even though I created it myself, I didn't do it alone. I have a support of team and I'm so thankful and so blessed to have them um, because they they keep me guarded and they keep me lifted when things get hard to know that like hey you have an idea and it's more than an idea it's a movement and you can change the narrative for so many people so that's very important to me 
Girl, I'm so proud of you. I'm just over here just grinning. I mean, my goodness, you, you I mean, you're, you've done it. You're doing it. Um, and I, I mean, I bid you Godspeed and you continue on. This, this is just wonderful. And it is so important. I asked about your husband and your family because it is so important to have that, that support. Yes. I'm telling you, you, you know, think about it. You guys know, should understand what I'm saying. When you have an idea in your mind and something that you want to try and push forward all to help other people, um, not, you know, not being selfish. Um, this is, this is an unselfish, uh, act business organization that you've developed. You want to help someone else, but to have that support, have someone, you know, lifting you and holding up your arms and encouraging you, whether they are praying for you or, 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 or encouraging you to continue on when you feel like, oh, I want to give up or whatever, or <laughs> I just want to just, let me just table this for a little bit. No, no, no. You have that support and that push that means a world of difference. I'm telling you, it does. Um, Cause it can, it can get lonely yes. oh, <laughs> when yes, you I are know. trying to uh, uh, bring into fruition, you know, uh, ideas and different things that you have in your head. I have so many ideas. I'm telling you, Denise, in my head, it just, sometimes <laughs> it, it's, it's just so much for me. Some, sometimes I have to write them down or whatever. Yes. I'm, and I have to go and just jot stuff down. So I won't forget but again, to have that support behind you to push you, that that's key. That is so important. Um, and I, I, I thank your family for that because <laughs> you're, you're, uh, many are going to, again, benefit from what you do. Let me read a couple of comments here. And I don't want you guys to go anywhere because I want to ask Denise um, another question before we end on today. Let's see. I think Victoria, um, Lady Etiquette, she says, I love the idea of a financial university. Our young African-American girls need to know this before they seek employment, go to college, start a family, or even their own savings and financial plan. And as I'm reading your comment, um, uh, uh, Lady Victoria, it, I, that is so key. She has an etiquette um, um, business uh, service. Uh, and she she reaches out to the young people, the young uh, females and everything. That might be a collaboration. I don't know why. I just, I just thought about that. I just thought about just <laughs> throwing idea. it out there, guys. <laughs> <laughs> um, and Buddy says he, he agrees with her. Uh, he says, many times I have said this is the stuff um, that we should have taught, you know, while we were in high school. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I would agree, Buddy. I would definitely agree. Uh, She also says here, our academic systems in the United States has done us and the generations before and behind us a huge disservice by not equipping us with the financial knowledge and education needed before we enter into college and the world of business. I'm telling you, you you hit that on the head. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm, I'm just gonna throw this in here. When I first went away to college, I'll never forget. I got into credit card debt because they in the cafeteria telling you to sign yes. up for credit oh. cards. <laughs> yes. And I'm like, oh, okay. You know, <laughs> mm. you know and it, it, it took a while to pay that stuff off. You know what I'm saying? You just thought you were everything because, you know, I got credit card now, whatever. But why, you know, why would they do that? And like you said, not having the uh, financial knowledge and the education I should have had the wherewithal to say no, first and foremost. <laughs> I was just trying to be grown, y'all. Um, but <laughs> but I'm telling you that 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 was it was that was a disservice to me. Uh, and I'm just talking for myself. Uh, Pastor Marcel says, thank you, Annette, for giving my daughter the opportunity to come on your program and explain her business. God bless. God bless you, Pastor Marcel. And I was going to say to you and Lady Marcel, you, you did a great job. You did a great job raising her uh, and, 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 and what she learned from you, through you, uh, watching you. So I, I wanted to say that uh, to you and your wife. And the Marcel's, we, we love the Marcel's. We love the Marcel's. <laughs> Uh, Let's see. Divine Favor is on. Thank you for sharing. I appreciate you. You may have to go back and rewind, Divine, because we're about at the end of our segment on today. Again, this was a wonderful segment talking about the psychology of poverty, talking about financial healing, financial freedom um, with Denise Ochebo. And she is the uh, uh, CEO and owner of the Career Mompreneur. And I'm telling you, you when you go back and you listen to it, 
you're going you're gonna to get a lot of great nuggets out of this. Um, I was telling Denise before we actually started on today that I, with the theme that God gave me for this year, 2022 is the year of healing. And you may say you've been saying that too much. It's only day uh, 26 of January where you're going to hear me say it all year because I believe that that's what God gave me. We are in, in, in such a crisis, um, this world is, and so many individuals are going through, whether it's financially, mentally, physically, spiritually, in whatever way you can think of. But I know what God said. This is the year of healing. So I, I believe your faith is as high as you can speak it. I'm speaking that. And, you know, so many of you all have been going through um, with various situations, circumstances in your families or whatever. And I, I believe that God has spoken that this is the year. So you need to accept it and receive it unless you want to stay where you are. Uh, but I believe that for you and I encourage you to grab a hold of that. With that in mind, I believe the Lord gave me a couple of days ago that I'm going to try and institute um, during my segments on this year, testimonials of individuals that have received um, their healing in whatever area. Today, again, the focus was on financial healing. And I want Denise to share with us before we go, um, her financial healing mm -hmm. and a testimonial of, of such. So you can go ahead to these. Yeah, so I would like to share one story. So I remember when I was in my first year of graduate school um, in Arizona and um, I was in my finance course. And after the course, my professor, a Caucasian professor, tapped me on the shoulder and said, hey, after the course today, can, can we meet for lunch? You know, I just want to talk to you. I said, OK, sure. So I met with him for lunch. We were outside eating and he started off and he said, so how did you make it? And I said, make it like what? Now, I remind you, I was the only African-American woman in my entire master program, full time MBA program. So when I met with my professor, I, you know, I clarified, like, make it as, you know, like, what do you mean? How did I make it? He said, over the course of his life, he's never seen a African-American or minority understand finance and accounting the way I do. He said, you are the number one student in my class. I, I watch your projects. I watch how you respond. He said, you understand numbers in a way that's very unique, where pe most people like you don't even understand more than the second grade math. And so he wanted to know, how did I get to where I was studying finance as the only minority and only woman in one of the most prestigious MBA programs. And so he asked me, so did you like grow up in the hood or in poverty? And you just figured like there was a way to come out. And I explained my story. I told him, no, I grew up in a middle-class family. But one of the things that I saw, you know, as I mentioned in the beginning was I saw my parents struggle and I saw that there was a gap of something that they didn't know that I wanted to learn to break this cycle. And I said, you see me here today, but what I'm doing is to change the generational path for others to come behind me. And it happened to be in my second year of grad school, I got a call from the financial aid office and they said, hey, Denise, we're going to have to reduce some of your scholarship money. At that moment, I had a decision to make either I leave graduate school, I'm shy of like four to five months to graduate, or I take student loan debt or I get a job to help me finish paying for my courses. At that time, I had money saved because I'm an advocate investor and financial planner before I went to grad school for my career. So I tapped in some, into some of my investments, pulled the money I needed. I also took on a job while I was in grad school to help pay some of the costs. Do you not know I graduated in two years with three master's degrees Holy. as the only African-American woman where my financial situation was said it wasn't going to be so. Because I didn't come from a family of wealth or money. So I, the school asked me, well, can you call someone back home to pay this? I said, I have no one to call. Either I finish and find a way to make this happen, or I can't finish my master program. Like, this is it. Today is the last day. I was so determined that my mindset was that I was not going to repeat generational curses of financial prosperity and wealth. So I did whatever it took to make sure I graduate on time. And when I came out, when I was in school, I was planning a wedding 
And when I came out of school, I decided that we're not going to, we, we're not going to plan our wedding on credit or ask anyone for help. My entire budget that I planned for my wedding was between 50 to 60,000 plus dollars. Me and my husband paid for our wedding in cash, not one credit card, not one ounce of debt in full cash. And we also built the house in the same year we got married and paid the down payment and everything in cash. But remind you, I was coming out of grad school with no money. I, they just told me my financial aid was going to be short. How did we do it? Was because of the mindset of creating a lineage of financial prosperity, financial wealth, because we said we were determined to change the trajectory of our family. And that's when my financial healing started. My same professor that asked me, how did I do it? I did it. That's how I did it. And I did it because I learned from things I saw, mistakes I saw in my generation, in my culture, in my race. And I said, that will not be my story. So because my story changed, now I'm in a situation to show others how to do it because it can be done and it doesn't have to be done with debt. Oh, I'm telling you, people need to hear this. They need to hear this. You said you came out with two in two years with how many master degrees? Three. My MBA in finance, MBA in marketing, and master of science in finance as the only African-American woman in my entire MBA graduating class. And then your financial or your, your scholarships are reduced. Mm -hmm. Then you came out of there and, and started, you, you, you obviously have fallen in love and you're getting ready to get married and you pay for a wedding worth how much? Over $50,000 in cash, not one credit card, not one debt obligation. The wedding fully paid in cash, wrote the check, fully paid. Wow. Wow. I, you know, I admire that. I, I was determined to, to, to pay for, we were determined to pay for our own wedding ourselves. Now we, I can't remember how much it cost back then, but <laughs> But we did. We did do it ourselves. And we didn't have any debt. We didn't use any credit cards or anything like that. So, I mean, but I know it wasn't no $50,000. You know, yeah, weddings are expensive in this 2000 and above century. It's very expensive. And it don't have to be a wedding. It could be paying for school, buying the house. Remind you, I said in that same year, we built a brand new house. Wow. Couple coming out. That's one generational curse broken. When my parents got married, when they first got married, their first house wasn't built from scratch. Me and my husband built our first house, ground up. The concrete, all of that picked out what goes into the house. So these are things that you can teach your kids so that they can do. I'm expecting my daughter to do better than what I did. The bar is here for me. I want the bar here for her. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they always say that you want your children to do better than you or to, to, to do greater than you. And uh, yeah, you, you set that bar. You have definitely set that bar. Uh, that, that's wonderful. And, and thank you for saying that that's where your financial healing began. Um, that, that's key and that's important. Well, if you guys did not think that I had the right guest on today, I don't know about <laughs> you, but I know I did. I know the Lord asked me to, to reach out to her. Uh, hashtag God excellence, hashtag black excellence, apostle. Come on. He said, come on, as you telling it. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, so I hope you guys benefited from that. Oh, okay. La uh, lady, uh, Victoria, she said she already thought about a collaboration idea. Uh, Perfect. I will definitely share your information. She said, she said, feel free to do that. All right. This is great stuff. Oh, we are going to end on today. I'm trying to scroll back up to make sure that I didn't miss any comments or questions that uh, you guys had on today. I do appreciate each of you for sharing with us on today, for listening. And I know you benefited. I don't have to ask you. I know you benefited from listening to my guest on today. Denise, thank you so much for taking time out on Thanks today. For having me. Uh, she, she, she's, she's, she's intentional. What she does, she's deliberate. And she, you have to make sure that you're on point with her because she will, if you don't do one, she goes like, okay, well, what about that? What about yes. that? And I'm like, okay, that's fine. <laughs> but I love it. I love it. That, that means she's organized and she wants to make sure that uh, she stays that way and whoever she's dealing with um, be organized as well so uh, th this has been tremendous any last minute words for us before we play our ending here from you 
for me? Yes. I would say um, one thing that I will leave, if you don't remember anything else, anything is possible as long as you have the right mindset. It all starts in your mind. So if you can believe it, you can achieve it. If you can see, if you can believe it, you can see it. If you can believe it, you can do it. Anything is possible, even financial success. And as I stated in the beginning, the career mompreneur goal and mission is regardless of what your status is financially, your income level, your income or um, stock portfolio, there is an opportunity for you to improve your financial trajectory. And it all starts in your mind. It starts writing it down. It starts with the career mompreneur money pro plan. And it also starts with you learning and teaching others coming behind you. So if you don't remember anything else, this is a movement and it's a financial movement to change the trajectory and the narrative for all individuals, women, men, children, ad children, adolescents, everyone, because there is something that needs to change. And thank you for having me on the show. I appreciate it. And if you need any more information, please check out The Career Mompreneur. Wonderful. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you again. Oh, man, I've had a lot of takeaways from what you said on today. But uh, as, as we're ending, guys, make sure you check out her um, her website, the career entrepreneur um, dot com. And on the next session of the Get Talk Nanette. In the Net, a night with the connected poet, Pastor Kevin McGee. Wednesday, February 2nd, 2022, 5.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. A night of healing through poetry. Get caught in a net with a net. For your mind, body, and soul. Get caught in a net with a net. It's your intellectual radio show. Here to All right, guys, you know what I have to tell you at the end of every broadcast, I want you guys to be safe. All right. Um, we know this variant is still out here. We're still um, facing all of this, but wash your hands. <laughs> Sing happy birthday twice. Whatever you have to do, wash your hands 20 seconds. Uh, wear your mask, whether you are vaxxed or not. Please wear your mask and do your physical. They always say social distance but I always like to let you know it is the physical distancing, whatever you need to do to make sure that you and your family are safe. And again, go to getcaughtinthenetradio.com for upcoming information. Tomorrow night, I will be on with Apostle Dion Hunt for a &D Conversation. Uh, the first segment of the year, we will feature, wait, no, the first millennial segment of the year. We will feature our millennials. We have a, a variety of guests, uh, panelists on tomorrow night. Uh, Monique Smith, we have uh, the Matoria uh, brothers, uh, Ty and Josh. We also have Minister Timothy Hardy will be on. We have Candace uh, will be on as well. And also Chloe Brooks. Uh, they bring a lot to the table, these millennials and hey, who knows where the conversation will go on tomorrow night, but make sure you join us 6 p.m. Central Standard Time on Mind, Body, and Soul a and Conversation page. And uh, Mind Mending in the Net podcast, we've started back up last week, so make sure you guys go and subscribe to Mind Mending in the Net wherever you get your podcast shows. And if you didn't catch any of that, just go on over to getcaughtinthenetradio.com and you will find all that information. All right, guys, until next week, we will see you. Peace.